Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Neelam and I make videos all about making and selling candles. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I pack my candle orders, what supplies I use, and if you're uh, ever curious how to pack your candle orders, maybe you can reference this video and see how you would go about packing your own candle orders. I'm also going to show you how I prevent my candles from breaking in shipment. I made a separate video talking about shipping, the cost of shipping, what career service I use and what are the career services you could use to ship your candles in South Africa. So I will link that here and maybe you guys could go watch that to see which career services you would like to ship your candles through. So with that being said, let's start packing. I'm not selling any candles right now at the moment, but I'm just going to show you guys what is it that I do if I were to get a candle order. So this is the candle I'm going to be shipping. Hope you can see how it looks. I don't know how tall it is, but I will insert the measurement here. And this candle size is perfect for the box that I'm going to be using, which I'll show you in a minute. This is the bubble wrap that I'll be using. I chose to use bubble wrap. At the time, it was easier for me when I was selling my candles. I cut it in a rectangle shape and I put it lengthwise in facing me and this is how I would wrap my candle. I do want more eco-friendly options for shipping my candles, but as of right now, this bubble wrap works for me and maybe you guys will mostly use bubble wrap as well. I put it lengthwise and then I put the candle at the far end and then I just wrap it like a burrito I take the ends and then I push it inwards and then I just see how it will flow as you can see I have some little bits sticking out and then I would just use tape to tape that up I use sellotape because it works easier for me I take the tape and now I would just stick the ends that are sticking out and yes this is how I bubble wrap the candle um, you have to make sure you're bubble wrapping it very nicely because your candle will break in shipment if you do not bubble wrap it and secure it properly. I feel that my candles are going somewhere far or my candles are not fitting properly in the box sometimes. I will bubble wrap it really well in case it does move during shipment or they throw the boxes or something like that. Um, it won't break. I got my bubble wrap from a shipping store. This is what I would do. So it comes in a roll, as you can see, of bubble wrap. The next shipping supply I like using is a wrapping paper. I like the color black, so I just thought it would look very elegant for my candles. Turn it so that it's in a diamond shape. I will put my candle right at the top, and then I will wrap it the same way that I wrap the bubble wrap. I will just take the ends, wrap it inwards. My mom taught me this method and it has really helped me when it came to packaging my candles. I will take my thank you sticker and I will put it at the end so that when they open it, it's like a present. Here is my thank you stickers I have. They come in a pack of 500, it's in a roll. And I just really love these thank you stickers because it has my branding on it in the sense that of the colors. Um, I'm still deciding how I would like my Thank you stickers to look like so oops i just love how it looks and it's and has flowers on it and it just says thank you so i thought that would be so cute to put a sticker on there once you guys are happy with the way you've packaged it this is the part where you're going to now have to protect your candles and i'm going to show you guys what is it that i use to protect my candles during shipping here is the box that i used i will put the measurements of this box in the video and um, it fits really well and what I would do is I would put my candle inside and ship it in a bigger box for shipping because this box is too small to ship on itself. When I put two candles in here, it fits very nicely and it doesn't move. In this video, I'm just going to be putting one. I got these packing peanuts whenever I order supplies. I didn't have to buy it. Put the packing peanuts inside. Fill it till it covers the bottom because we need a cushion for your candles to sit. Packing peanuts are really amazing because they get to be like a cushion for your candle. As you can see, it's really covered the bottom of the box because that's important for when you need to pack your candles. You're going to now take your candle and you're going to be placing it in your box, making sure the packing peanuts are supporting the candle. Let me show you guys how now it would look like. As you can see, my candle fits very nicely in the box. Now we're going to do a shaking test. The shaking test is basically to see if your candle moves in the box. You need to make sure it sits one place in the box and no movement. So as you can see, 
it's moving. I need more packing peanuts. Take a packing peanut. I will push it to the side where it will block the corners of the box to prevent it from moving from side to side. You want to be filling up the box to where there will be no shaking in the box. It should cover the size of the candle. It's not going to damage the candle or put any weight near the candle. So I got these paper confetti from a shipping store. This is something I do. This is just for aesthetic purposes um, but I do think it does protect the candle because I do put it in between the gaps cover it up um, to the point where you can't see the candle if that makes sense it's very um, nicely put and that when you open it you can see the candle right there so I just thought this was a cute and a pretty thing to do for when the customer opens the package you guys could do this or you could do anything else you can add stickers if you guys would like for branding or you could add a note here when they open the candle package to say thank you for ordering from me um here's a discount code maybe i will design my own thank you cards in the future but I, right now i just buy a thank you card from the store and i personally handwrite a message to them i also input a candle care card thank you card and the candle care card i will either fit in this box so if i don't i will fit in my big box that i ship the candle in and in the candle care card it's just some steps that the customer needs to do when they are lighting their candle and just some things they need to do to protect themselves and how to use the candle properly also include a discount code for them as a little incentive for them to buy again as well i'm happy that they supported me i also will include a little sample order for them i do this because just to show them that i have other candle fragrances that they've never tried i also include a small twisty candle i don't know if i mentioned this to you guys but i also make twisty candles now that i'm happy with how it looks i would take my shipping tape and i would peel this box up and now I'm going to be doing a shaking test to see if I hear it moving. No, I can't hear anything. And this is how I would package my candle orders. I sell my candles on Instagram, so I have to let them know which career service I use and how much I will charge them. So that will be on my Instagram in my highlights. I do want to upgrade my branding, upgrade my packaging. So if I do that, in the future i will let you guys know what i choose to do if you guys are looking to ship your candles through other career services in south africa you can watch that because i explain the shipping process and i explain the cost that you would need to know thank you so much for watching this is just how i package my candle orders and how i protect them in shipping maybe you guys would do something different but i just thought i would show you guys how i go about packing my candle orders Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Iridescent Candle Co. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.